All right, we are live. We are live. Do you know what today is? Monday. It is Monday. It is. It's also National Princess Day. National Princess Day. Yeah. Are you going to dress up or something? Or No, but I'm curious. Do you have a favorite um, fictional princess that you that's your favorite? I don't have a favorite fictional, but I have a favorite non-fictional <laughs> Who's princess. Who's your favorite non-fictional princess? You. Oh. Now you're going to say Who's like your princess favorite Dye. princess? Okay, if you know what movie this fictional princess is from, I will take you out to dinner tonight. Okay. Okay, on me. Princess of Genova. Not even a guess. No, you got to give one guess. It's not a cartoon. And it is a Disney movie. I have no idea. Anne Hathaway? Princess Diaries? Yay! <laughs> is that Disney? Yeah. That's so crazy. I just, um, I, I didn't show it to you yet, but uh, but I just got Disney Plus. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, because I saw that Verizon, uh, if you're whatever with Verizon, you can get it for free. And I was like, let me just see. And so I have a whole year free. I just set it up. Got to put your light on, baby. Oh, I do. Let me put that on real quick. So the homepage, um, so it's basic. I mean, it's identical to Netflix. Yeah. You know, I think it's more like Netflix than Hulu well, because it's its own content. Well, for anyone listening, Disney Plus is a new streaming service by Disney, and it is basically streaming every single Disney movie you could ever imagine. So from classics to nostalgic favorites to it's also Star Wars and National Geographic. Disney, Pixar, Marvel. Oof. Star Wars, National Geographic, and they have originals. Yeah. They don't have many yet, but just think how Netflix, when they first did Orange is the New Black, it was kind of like, huh. Right. And now there's well, like a new original every week. I saw, too, they have a lot of different shows. So like High School Musical, they have a new series. Yeah. And I heard it was really good. And then also Kristen Bell has a show called Encore where they go back to the high schools and you can you reperform. So they find like a cast from 10 years ago that all graduated in... A reality show? Yeah. And it's solely on Disney+. Plus. Oh. So they do have that kind of original oh. content. Yeah, it's right here. Encore, um, Captain Marvel. But it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's identical to the same format. They got their originals. They've got movies. And here's what's interesting about the movies. Of course, you think of like, you know... Motocross. Just my luck. Get a clue. Smart house. Xenon. The Cheetah I don't know Girls. any of those, but... Um, <laughs> Every amazing Disney original. They've got like Cars, Guardians of the Galaxy, Lion King, Inside Out, Tangled, Finding Dory, Monsters University, Zootopia, Toy Story, Aladdin, Little Mermaid. I mean, uh, 10 Things I Hate About You huh. is a Disney film. Well, yeah, that would make sense. Is it? I mean, obviously, because it's here. I think just the... 10 Things I Hate About You, 101 Dalmatians. This is really, really neat. Well, you know what's cool, too? Because they have a bunch of different sections on the actual streaming platform. So you can kind of look through categories. And one of them is nostalgic nostalgic movies. And it was when, like, Disney was in its prime. And so a lot of my mommy friends now... I've been seeing just stories and posts all weekend long because they're like, I'm finally re-watching my favorite movie from when I grew up, but I'm showing my kids. So like they're making their kids watch it, but they also get to enjoy the magic, you know, that was their favorite movie when they were younger. So kind of like weaves all these generations together, um, you know, with upcoming generations. It's kind of crazy. And I'm also interested too, because now Netflix is going to have competition, but this has got to be just the start of it. Yes. And I, you know, the one thing I did see that, Disney Plus does not have. Um, you know how on Netflix you can go and it'll say continue watching or you can see um, how long you've watched something or what you're watching? It apparently does not have that feature. So if I pull up Disney Plus, I can't go, ooh, watch again or ooh, continue watching, which is kind of a really big feature, but I suppose it's just brand new and they'll probably add that in. Well, here's the, the this is what's interesting about being second is they got to watch Netflix and see any problems that they were having. One of the big problems that Netflix is having, and they might change this, is when Stranger Things comes out, as an example, people will spend the $12, binge the whole season, and then cancel. cancel. 
And with Disney Plus, the the new show they have, they're doing it, I think, a week at a time. Really? Because they don't want people just to do 12 bucks, then cancel, 12 bucks, so and cancel. Smart. And And here's my thing with that, is I get if people need to save money, but you're also doing it with a luxury item. Like you're 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 beating the system on a luxury entertainment item, right? So it's like you know people can afford it, or they wouldn't even spend the twelve dollars in general. But in order for you to have all the original Netflix, all the all this Disney stuff, all these great movies, mm-hmm. support the platform. Well, because think about if you're gonna buy it from iTunes or like, can you do that anymore? Or they, did they pull that? I think you can only. Let me look it up on iTunes. That's actually. Ooh, interesting. So what I was going to say, if you're going to rent or purchase all those movies, you'd really rack up a hefty bill. That's another really good point. Well, what's a Disney movie? Um, try Get a Clue. One of my favorite Lindsay Lohan movies. It seems like they wouldn't pull it to purchase because... It still would make money. But from what I read a long would... time ago is they wanted to make it exclusive to the platform. Yeah. It's not Can... there? I don't think so. What's like another like... A more popular one, like Toy Story? Toy Story. Toy Story 1, 2, 3, and 4 you can all buy. Now, another thing on Disney Plus though is that they have coming soon. So like the Avengers, or I'm just throwing out a a name, but they have a contract with Netflix or maybe with Apple until June of 2020 where they get to use it. So they might slowly, when the contracts end, take they're everything. Take it all away. Because they're gonna want people, and because why would, yeah, why would you want someone to rent three movies when you can use that $12 and just be a part of the platform? It's actually only six ninety nine. I know. It's, As of now, Netflix started cheap true. and they've, they've ratcheted it up, but I, I don't mind it. I love that it's like what they're bringing to us and there's no commercials. Mm-hmm. So it's like you pay 12 bucks or whatever it is or here for $7. I'm all for it. I think it's convenient. I think it's awesome. And I think it's the start of something really cool because that's the future. Can I pick a uh, Disney film that we'll watch tonight? Um, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like one of my favorites. I classic. think it'd be cool to watch one that Check I... Check it uh, out. Because you didn't watch Disney at all growing up. Disney movies. But I didn't watch any Disney shows, no. Disney I didn't watch any Nickelodeon either. You know, it's just so funny I when, what I, I watched. when I think of you as like a kid or a child because I know you now and you're just, your soul is such like an old wise man <laughs> and I just can't imagine you as a kid. And then I think about that time when we watched, um, oh, hey, Benj, when we watched some home videos of you at your parents' house and like you guys, I think we're decorating the Christmas tree and you were just like bossing your mom around with the way you were putting the, or she was putting the ornaments on. Like you had a real specific way. <laughs> yeah. It just makes me laugh so hard because I can see those qualities were always there. Like you just like to be in charge and you know how things should be and how like everything should be monitored and how it should go. And it's just so funny. It's odd to see yourself as a kid because you didn't have a, uh, a, a perspective. You were just living. Yeah. So when you watch that. But yeah, I don't really remember. I'll have to ask my parents more about it because we watched um, some of my, you know, those videos of me young. But I I just was 24-7 just school and then sports. Like we played outside. We built forts. Like I don't think I was ever really watching much TV. Like I wasn't like – like what are some Nickelodeon – like I don't think I watched Nickelodeon. I didn't watch Disney. You didn't watch like Hey Arnold, Rugrats. Mm Mm-mm. Huh. I know of Rugrats because my cousin that? Cherie watched. Uh, I know of all these, you know. You never watched them. Mm-mm. That's so interesting because, I mean, I was active too and, you know, did a lot of sports and all that. But I loved my, my Nickelodeon, my Disney movies. Yeah, I don't even know. Like, like I think I watched like cartoons, like, like on Cartoon Network maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. You're just always hustling. <laughs> No yeah. time for television. <laughs> I had to have watched. I played a lot of video games. Um, and, uh, you huh. know, but, but yeah, so I'm, I'm really interested to just see the, the future of, of, uh, you know, essentially, you know, is cable going to go away? Like, are we just going to I think just... eventually we have cable now. And one of my favorite um, guilty pleasure shows right now is called Love After Lockup. And I think it's on Wii TV, but I watch all of it on my laptop and buy it through iTunes. Yeah. Like, I don't 
really use cable. No. And it's even just the live stuff, you know? It's like if you're going to watch the the Super Bowl, the Oscars, or like it's basically sports, but I think Hulu's already streaming it. And I think even YouTube and like when the impeachment hearing or like all the yeah. political or like big news is all being streamed live, I think, on YouTube. And so yeah. it's just moving in that direction. And that's what I'm interested in in the next few years, um, you know, to, to circle back to even the day's thing. that I'm more concerned, not concerned because I love innovation. Yeah. is, you know, it, what's going to happen in the next three to five years of shifting? Is NBC just going to do exclusive content on NBC.com? Are they going to move away? And then how do you, you know, I, I don't know. And then Facebook or Apple, a, a, Apple and Facebook and Amazon, I mean, all these players are in the game. Yeah. Hulu originals. Oh, yeah. So that's where it's all going to be. Even but Amazon, have you heard much about the Amazon originals? I've heard of some, but but for some reason there hasn't it's been not like, like a taken off. I mean, maybe for us, I'm sure there's some very popular like award winning shows on there that we Didn't just Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston. I think they have a show it just started. I think right? it's yeah. I don't know what the name of it. Maybe I... that'll make it pop, or maybe it already is, and I just don't yeah. Know. No, it'll just take like an Orange is the New Black type thing. Yeah. Um, We're just living through a very interesting time, though. We don't realize what a big mark this is going to make in history with you know mm-hmm. the internet and everything that's changing and we're living through it so we're like oh yeah it's not that big of a deal but it's going to be the pioneer for everything in the future well and it's it's interesting too because i heard i think it was gary vaynerchuk who said it too is like or someone said it where right now everyone's going to split and mm-hmm. do their own thing and then it's just going to take 5 10 15 20 years before a big company comes drops three trillion dollars buys netflix and then Ooh. and then aggregates it again just like cable has yeah. or tv and then now you have the same company who has netflix channel and it's the same wow. thing again so but there's there's a lot of attention and that's why i love that we're in the game i love that we're on youtube and that we're basically you know they have 100 million subscribers we've got while making this around 35 3600 subscribers we're on our way right. you know um but we have our own channel with our stuff on it mm-hmm. and it's really cool so it's like i love that we can all create we can all participate and everyone's just looking for people's attention be like what can we do that's interesting that people are going to gravitate towards and want to come back what's going to make someone watch us rather than a new episode of the high school musical right so it's all this big game right now and it's really fun but i just love that we have the option that we can all play but you know what else is so crazy when we had like our kids kids our grandchildren they're going to be able to go back and watch our videos from when we were young. You know what I'm saying? Like that's never happened before. I mean, sure, they have like VHS, but they're going to be able to just go and check the channel out and watch the show. Hey, grandkids, what's up? You know, like it's it's crazy. I feel when I watch videos, though, of like my grandparents or like even when my parents were first with the camcorder, no one was. No one really cared to be on camera. No. They were all very much like, hi. Or it'd be like, Freddie, it's like, pick that up. Or like no one, now people are producing content. Absolutely. We are very intentional about what we're doing. We're back in the day, you were just caught on camera. I didn't get to know what my, like what was my Papa Dave like at 32 when he was my That's age. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you can hear stories, but I mean like how, we're going to be the first generation mm-hmm. that you can look back and really get to know, like our great, 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 great grandkids can get to know who we really are. But that's so cool. More than just a random black and white crappy ass photo that they had back in the day. <laughs> We've come a long oh, way. Man. You ever see those old photos? Of They're stuck together. Of course. It's all like this weird rusty orangish color. Yeah, a little off, off white. <laughs> yeah, it's like a color that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's really cool. I'm excited to live through this time, I think. So much is going to happen in the next 30 years, yep. 60 years. It's going to be pretty great, gray. And then the first step uh, is the Apple um, AR glasses that are projected to come yes. out late 2020. What is that again? Tell me. I know you were It's going to. It so up. from what I'm hearing is that it's going to be an accessory just like the, uh, the ear pods and the watch. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to replace the phone as of yet because the, it needs that power to be able to run. Um, but it's going to be normal like glasses that you wear and it's going to project everything in augmented reality for you. 
So instead of having to look mm. at your phone, you'll be able to look straight in like your text messages. You can swipe out of the way. You can find a blank wall and put up Netflix and just watch it. Your driving directions will be in augmented reality. So when it says to make a turn, you're gonna see the blue Google Maps or the Apple Maps or whatever. You're gonna be able to be driving and see that the roads are blue, like where to That's go, insane. the arrows. This is less than a year away. See, it's crazy because I love technology. I think all this sounds so cool, but I also am such a creature of habit, and that just kind of stresses me out a little bit. I love because it's something all of it. new. I know. I love You're ready new to interesting get the chip things. In your I'm down. Head. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they already have it. We already have it. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk already said we are half cyborg now. Yeah. Everything. Our phone is a part of us. And even Apple and all these companies I mean, are getting us right used here. to having a device on us. Hmm. And then soon it'll be in us. And it'll all just be right there. But, but but with the glasses are going to, with, with face recognition, like, the, like, will there be a point where I can have my, because you know how Facebook recognizes, like, do you want to tag Alyssa Tabbitt in this photo? I'm like, they know your face. Mm -hmm. So if I look at you or I were to meet someone in the mall or at a bar or at a party or at a, an event yeah. and I have my augmented glasses on and it recognizes you and pulls up your Facebook. Oh, this is Amy Smith. She's 39. She lives in Los Angeles. She went to this school. And I'm like, oh, hi, Amy. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're single. You're married. You're your last post was this, yeah. you know, it's like kind of like um, Black Mirror. Remember that one episode where it was all about um, basically you could see someone and you could see their score above their head, like what people rated them. What people? Yeah. Who was what's her name? Bryce Dallas Howard. Is that her name? I think she was the one who was in that. But it was so crazy because this woman made herself crazy because people started giving her like bad ratings and she just wanted to be like loved and accepted and she ended up going nuts and like it i do remember really that crazy. episode yeah um but that's it's kind of interesting i don't think it would ever get to that but and i would hate that but i think it's kind of cool to be able to know like stats right away or maybe it's someone that i met like a year ago i'm like shoot what's their name and you just look at them and it's and it's right there it's crazy well, they were, they were also saying, too, that augmented reality is kind of um, is being overlooked because everyone's talking about VR, 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 where VR is still years away, and yeah. it's more going to be for gaming and entertainment. But augmented reality has just been growing and growing, and all we really know is that IKEA has that where you can, like, in augmented reality through your phone, place a, a bookshelf, and right. you can in 3D, and it even has shadows of where you are That's and crazy. what's going on, and then about the Pokemon Go. But... Oh, That's yeah. going to be implemented into our life before VR. Because we did VR in New Jersey. Yeah, it was okay. It was cool. But I'm not, like, voice and VR have a long way to go. Long way. Like, voice and, like, even today I was, like, I was like uh, asking, I don't want to say it she'll come on, but I was asking my, my phone or my car, like, where's the nearest bank? Because I was in a new mm -hmm. area. I was like, where is this again? Because we only went there once. Yeah. and. And it just wouldn't. Didn't it, and then we have well. the Echo Show that we got for the Day of Days gift. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like you ask, like, can you play this song? Can you tell me the temperature? Well, I think it's the problem, not advanced though, enough yet to be that, that cool. Is that because that's an Amazon product, correct? Mm -hmm. So I think, especially what I've noticed when we asked it to play different songs, it just didn't have that song in its database because I don't think Amazon has the rights or whatever it might be. So it just has like a long way because I feel there were so many times I asked it to play a specific song and she's like, you might like this song instead. You might like this playlist. Yeah. You know, so. It's still incredible that it amazing. knows exactly what you're saying. Amazing. So I'm, I'm impressed in that sense. But I think our, our, our what's the word I'm looking for? Our standards mm -hmm. are so high because I'm like, there's cars driving themselves. There's a lot of, there's face recognition. It's like. I just want you to play a song and like you get it right most of the time or like I just want it to be more conversational. I can say, hey, we want to go to a movie. Mm -hmm. What's closest? To, but like not have to like wait. And then like yeah. I just want to be like like an assistant following me around yeah. going, yep, Freddie, I looked it up. Here you go. Like and, and it'll eventually get there. We're spoiled. Our attention span get, is smaller and smaller every day because of all of this stuff that we have at our hands and our fingertips mm -hmm. so quickly um, that something like that. We're like, oh, you can't play every song. Yeah. You know, it's it's insane. Our grandparents probably could never imagine that this would be reality when they were our age, you know? And it's really interesting to me how 
I'd love to talk to my grandparents about this. It's like there, and there's a lot of grandparents that hopped on, like your grandma's yeah. 80, what? 89. She'll be and she's on Facebook. Year. Oh, yeah. But it's interesting to me how, how some people have just written off. They're like 72, 88. They could live another 12 years and they've written off like, oh, let me go get an Alexa or like, I don't want, you know what I mean? Like it's so, it's so, it's so foreign to them and so different that, you know, I've just always been interested. I'm interested. Well, yeah, but I mean, like even my grandpa, he lived until 95 and right before he passed, I had sent him a CD player player. And with all of his favorite CDs, because that was like the highest standard of technology that he was interested in learning. Yeah. He never got a smartphone. Like he just wasn't into it. He never even really got onto the computer. He's 95, you know, he's yeah. like, I like my life. I'm good. Like <laughs> you guys have fun with your technology. You know, like I think you probably just hit a certain age where you're like, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so let me live. I, do. I know. I think you do hit that. But I also think there's just people who... It just gives you the perspective of how we all share this planet, but we all have a different reality. Mm -hmm. Like we all kind of share that we all think we're living in the same reality, but the way people put, the way their ethics are, the way that their beliefs are, the way that their life experiences have brought them into a perspective or lack of, Yeah, we're all sharing this planet, but we all see the world different. And it's interesting to me that like, like your grandpa's world was his friends and no one has smartphone and like that was the world everything he experienced up until that but we live in a world that that sounds terrible like when i told when i told chandler about um about our movie unplugged Mm -hmm. and i was like yeah it's like a weekend where no one has any cell phones or internet and he goes so it's a horror film (laughs) and um but that's how i see it i i don't even know anymore how like oh my god i know but we're also more open-minded to it because we grew up with technology like in the sense of looking at someone like my grandpa he never had technology yeah i mean that's probably really interesting and different too we're now more open-minded because we grew up with it so i can imagine when we're 95 we're going to want to still learn but things will be very different by then well, because there's innovation every day, yes. where I think in his lifetime, they had a few huge innovations, sure. but it wasn't as like, like right now we're hitting this like huge slope up. Of, yeah. Oh my gosh. Like now we're like, oh yeah, augmented reality glasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait. Alexa can't play my song. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But that's what we're used to. Hey, different times. Okay, so if you're down, tonight we'll pick um, a Disney original movie from Disney Plus, and I'll pick some of my favorites, and out of those favorites, you get to choose the one that we will watch tonight, and on the next podcast, you'll review it. Okay. You down? I'm down. I know we have a busy day. We got to do some TikTok vids. You're going to help me shoot some uh, pics for some deals coming up, and uh, then we'll do Disney Plus tonight. Oh, I was going to say I have to take you to dinner, but you actually didn't really guess it. No, I'll but maybe you, you maybe we can slip a dinner in here. Let me just see if I have a late call time tomorrow or early. Ooh. And by the way, for everyone out there, if you happen to be listening on iTunes, um, be sure to subscribe. If you're watching here on YouTube, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future episodes coming up. And if you want to drop us a like on the video, that would be awesome, Smash too. Smash that like smash that like button we can't steal cousin graham's cousin Graham. signature but it does work it works. there's a lot of times i watch youtube videos and i and i for, i'm like oh my god i like it but you forget to like because you're like yeah. oh i love you know um but the, the likes thing. and subscribes really go a long way i haven't got an email yet which makes me think it's going to be a late call time so we might be able to sleep into like eight yeah. Eight seven thirty is actually my favorite. Seven thirty is my favorite eleven thirty if you can get to bed at eleven thirty wake up at seven thirty it's like dream. the dream uh, thing no here, schedule. but but we'll see. But um, but thanks everyone for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Bye.